Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Mike. I go by DJ Access. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about the art and business of DJing. Today we're talking about how you can add your Serato track list to your Twitch streams in real time. There's been some janky ways to do it. I'm going to show you the official Serato way to do it and how to get that set up because it's a little tricky to get started out. Before we get started, if you find this content helpful or interesting, go ahead and like the video, comment below with future video ideas and questions about this topic, and be sure to subscribe if you want more tutorials, more podcasts, and everything DJing. Let's run it. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use the first link in the description. That's gonna take you to the Twitch channel where you can install the Serato Now Playing feature. Once you click the link, you're gonna see this page. Before you hit install, go ahead and log into Twitch. I'm going to log into a Burner Gaming account that I have that I don't use. So once you've signed in, you're gonna see this page. Go ahead and click install. You'll get this confirmation that it was installed successfully. So the next screen you're gonna see is this one. Once you've logged in and uh, clicked configure, um, the first thing you wanna do is copy your link code. And then if you're on the same computer that you stream from, go ahead and open up Serato DJ Pro. I use uh, this laptop to uh, DJ and then my PC to stream. So I'm gonna have to go onto my laptop and continue the, the um, thing there. You can email your link code to yourself uh, so that it's on your other computer if that's the way you wanna do it. So we're gonna open up Serato DJ Pro. Okay, now that Serato DJ Pro is open, we are going to check to make sure that it's updated to at least 2.4.5. And to do that, we're just gonna go into the settings. And then bottom, check for updates. I just did this, so I don't have to, but you're gonna check for updates. If, you, if there is an update, go ahead and download that if you choose. Um, to use this, you'll have to be on at least 2.4.5. So if you are already up to date, Go ahead and go back into the settings wheel and then navigate to the expansion packs view. And you'll see Serato playlist. Go ahead and click on that and ensure that live playlist is enabled. At this point, you can now connect your Serato hardware. You may want to restart your Serato. I had to do that, but I'm not sure if that everyone has to do that, but connect your Serato hardware. If you're still in settings, go ahead and go back to the main Serato page at this point and you can click the history tab. And you'll notice right here, it says start live playlist. Now, once you do that, you're going to get to the Serato page. It's going to say Serato now playing Twitch extension. Uh, and it's going to say you're currently, your account is currently unlinked. And to do that, you're going to go ahead and link it. Uh, to link it, you'll use that code that we copied earlier. If you had to email it to yourself, go into your email, uh, find that code, and then you can link it in here. And uh, basically, that's all of it. So once you um, get your Serato set up, you hit that live. Um, it's going to say start live playlist. Go ahead and click that once you're ready to go. And then at that point, um, you can run your Streamlabs, you can run your Twitch, whatever you use to stream. And then back in Twitch, you actually have to activate the overlay. So you can run back to where your extensions are in Twitch, click on the Serato ones, go to activate and set at overlay one. If you're running other overlays, you may have to set it as a different overlay. You can configure it to set it top left, top right, center, kind of wherever you want to go, large, small, all that. If you want emotes on the side, you can configure it that way. But basically, once you've um, clicked that start live playlist on your, on your um, the, you know, whatever you're using to use Serato, can go ahead and hit Streamlabs, and then it'll appear up in the top right. And uh, I had to set my delay to three seconds. You may have to set it differently depending on traffic and your internet speed and uh, you know uh, computer specs. But uh, yeah, I had to set mine to three seconds. Typically, I'd flip over the song, I'd hit the stopwatch, and as soon as I saw it um, tick up on there, I counted. It was three seconds, and that's what I set it to. So obviously, it's not going to work for like scratching or anything like that. But if you just want to show people uh, what you're playing, so they don't have to shazam it, or you just want to share music that you're playing uh, as you stream very easily and have Serato kind of take all that work for you, 
uh, that's how you can do it. This does not go into Streamlabs that I know of. This actually is like a Twitch thing. So your Streamlabs is going to, you know, put the image on and then Twitch at the end is going to put the Serato um, tag kind of wherever you want. So it is a Twitch thing. It's not a Streamlabs thing. But if you have questions, let me know in the comments. If you found something helpful or interesting, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe for more tutorials, podcasts, and everything DJing. And my name is Mike. Thank you guys for checking this out. We'll be back with another video soon. Peace.